Okay. I started the record of our lesson and uh, the records uh, video files uh, you will find on YouTube. I will share the link in uh, in your Telegram channel in channel of your group in the Telegram. So you will got the link for the video. Uh, okay. <clears throat> The subject uh, on our lessons uh, will be the design of our the shapes of the aircraft. Uh, I will teach you to work uh, in a program which calls Rhinoceros 3D. Do you heard about this program before? Somebody knows this program? Okay. It's CAD program. Uh, yes, it's CAD program. Uh, let's type in uh, Google search. Uh, Rhinoceros 3D. Oh, sorry. Three D. Okay, Google shows us uh, the link, the first link. Uh, we will go by this link and we will uh, find uh, the site of the of this program, Rhinoceros. This is commercial program, but uh, for the for uh, for the ninety days you can use this program for free. This program will run uh, with all uh, abilities, uh, so without any uh, limitations uh, for three months you can use this program for free absolutely free so you should <coughs> download the version for for your computer uh, if your computer uh, or notebook use uh, the windows then uh, you should uh, point here and starting to uh, starting uh, the procedure of uh, installation or if you have uh, the Mac, you should uh, type, you should point here and also it will be <coughs> the <coughs> equal operation. So the same for Windows or for Mac. You should choose what you got. <coughs> if you point here, you should uh, create the account. It is for free. You should only uh, use your uh, email address your electron mail address and uh, this all this all of you to download the uh, installation file and you will uh, get uh, the li li license key for free using for 90 days so the first thing that you should uh, made you should to uh, down, uh, download and install you should uh, download and install this program. This program uh, is about uh, one uh, gigabyte of uh, free space of, uh, of your computer. The requirements requirements for uh, Rhinoceros is you can read here. I hope all of you have the computers or notebooks that will. Uh, that with the with the um, abilities more than uh, typed in these requirements, but if you have uh, an old uh, computers, I have uh, oldest versions of uh, Rhinoceros, and you should uh, ask me, and I will uh, I will send you uh, the oldest versions. And it will run on your old computers also without any problems. Uh, it is not uh, important for us in which version you will uh, you will work. They are uh, for sure they are different, but uh, for our pro for our uh, for our tasks uh, it will be another even uh, an older version so after you will download and uh, install and, and install 
this program on your computer you will uh, see something like this I have already installed the Rhinoceros on my computer so it will open and you can see you will see this uh, interface I will uh, tell you about the interface on our lessons but uh, first I, I want to show you uh, the abilities of this program what we will uh, what we will learn uh, to do in this program so I will show you how uh, to make uh, in, uh, how uh, to ma uh, using this program how to make the surface model of the aircraft for example uh, for example something like this this uh, this is not completed model I uh, not finished the engine nestle the air intake but uh, all general shapes I already made uh, this was made this uh, model was made in this program in Rhinoceros using uh, surfaces and uh, using the splines and surfaces so I will teach you how to uh, make this something like this so you uh, at the end you will uh, you will be able to uh, design to build in this program uh, aircraft of any shape so or for example I can also show you another one aircraft this is Japan uh, uh, aircraft of World War II this is a long grade uh, long range uh, long range uh, aircraft I'm making the model of this aircraft in this program uh, another example old German old German uh, trainee aircraft also designed in this more in this program so with using this model you can uh, make uh, simple and fast make uh, the visualizations of your ideas of the aircraft or also you can make uh, any anything you want so starting from the 3d uh, model and finishing uh, the uh, blueprints for example if I uh, want to make uh, the blueprints of side view of this aircraft I can make it very fast with only one command it will it will takes a little time so it's ready here with little little bug but anyway it is the side view and I can uh, I can make I can make the plans plans or the blueprints of this aircraft uh, add the dimensions so this uh, the uh, font size or uh, arrow size I should uh, set up so I should change the, uh, si the, the size of these elements but anyway this is what you can do just with a few clicks of the mouse okay so there are other examples <coughs> I prepared to show you this is Polish glider airplane 
Jaskolka, The Swallow in English. Uh, also, this program uh, allows you to make the renderings, uh, the renderings of the of your models. But uh, this is this renderings will be not very high quality because the main uh, purpose of this program is not the 3D renderings but the design of the models. Uh, okay, yes. Sorry. I will cancel this rendering because oh. I should set up the rendering first so. so I will show you the rendering and the one of our uh, next lessons but uh, you can you should believe me that it is possible to make the renderings of this uh, 3D model. So uh, you will uh, you will learn how to make these uh, models in 3D in this pro in this program using the surface modeling. Uh, what I want to show you also ah, this. This is uh, th this model. Uh, it is uh, I made this model for uh, uh, as a basic model for uh, paper model kit. So this is not a real plane. This is uh, the uh, the model kit of a Polish glider. So the detailization of the interior is uh, not very precise but anyway uh, all depends on your uh, abilities on your uh, fantasy so you can also uh, modeling the all details of the real plane if you will make the project if you will make some uh, kind of your project you can uh, you can make the 3d model of your project here in this program in Rhinoceros. Okay. Uh, what else? And the last one that I want to show you is the flanker SU27. Not finished yet, only started the model. So any shapes, any uh, complicated uh, uh, shapes you can design with this program. And uh, I want to repeat that uh, this program is free for, uh, for 90 days trial. So if you will download it and install it right now, uh, you will be able about three months, you will have about three months to use this program for free. Uh, but if you want to buy this model, it, uh, this program, uh, it is not very cheap, but it is also not very expensive uh, comparatively to other CAD systems. Uh, where the prices? So it is about uh, 100 uh, e euros for one uh, working working place. This mod, uh, this program costs uh, here on this on this page. So. Commercial version is uh, about 100 uh, euros. Uh, for student, uh, for students, uh, about 200 euros. Or uh, for schools, uh, full three users, uh, three, uh, three uh, full uh, 30, uh, 30 user laboratory. Uh, also uh, about 100 euros so as you are students you can buy it for 200 uh, euros but also you can use it uh, for 90 days 
without any limitations and building and designing the models any models that you will like so uh, <clears throat> I think uh, I think I should uh, tell you about uh, we will speak about the interface on the next lessons uh, when you when every one of you will download and install this program then I will tell, tell you about the interface I will uh, start to tell you step by step and um, also uh, I will show you on some example uh, some examples uh, how to build uh, this uh, so, uh, this surface models uh, we will start from something uh, not difficult, from something easy, and uh, then we will go to, from uh, easy to more complicated models. And you will uh, repeat all uh, that I will, uh, all that I will do, all that you will uh, see on your screens. You will repeat on your computers uh, and making the models uh, that I will make, uh, that I will design. And uh, after the some time, uh, I will give you uh, the tasks. So uh, I, we will I will find I will search and uh, and choose for you some uh, some blueprints some pla plans uh, it's not it's, it's plans for radio control models but we will use something different We will use something like, I want to find now uh, something not very complicated, something more simple. So for example, like this, sorry. Something like this, but uh, I want to find the blueprints or the plans with uh, cross sections, with fuselage cross sections, wing cross sections. Ah, okay, here it is. Something like this. We will use the plans like this one, and uh, basic on these plans, uh, we will build the 3D model. So this uh, the pr uh, principle of uh, this 3D design is based based on the splines. For example, we will make some spline, some another spline with complicated shape. I will, for example, I will connect them and then separate them by position make the second spline higher above the, the first one and then uh, using the splines we can make the surface for example So the surface can be uh, any complicated shape. So we can repeat uh, with this uh, abilities, with this uh, instruments, with these tools. We can repeat any shapes that we want. And I will show you on these lessons how uh, to make this step by step. And you will repeat by me. And uh, after you will learn uh, on the basic, on the simple models, 
I will prepare for you uh, the tasks, uh, I will prepare the blueprints, uh, and you will choose from this uh, from the set of blueprints, you will choose the airplane which you will like, and you will uh, you should make uh, the model, 3D model of this uh, airplane that you will choose. Uh, for example, it can be also uh, extruded, and also it can be if we will use some axis, you can rotate, revolve, revolve the spline around this axis so you can achieve many many different shapes uh, for uh, also there are uh, uh, the primitives the primitive shapes as cylinders as um, spheres but uh, they are not uh, very useful for our uh, for our targets for our uh, work we will not use these primitives we will build uh, the shapes uh, we will build the surfaces using uh, the splines uh, using the polylines using the circles using the arcs so we will make uh, the contours of our uh, future model with this uh, with this primitives with this uh, two dimensional primitives like uh, splines or polylines and then uh, we will use them as a network to make the surface uh, to make the surfaces of our model uh, for example, I can show you something very simple. Uh, I will draw something like cross section. Something like cross section. I take it from my mind. This it's nothing, nothing real, but only my fantasy. But uh, as as example, so it looks like the cross section of the middle part of the fuselage. It's mirror. It is only uh, the half, and now I mirror it, and got and get the full view and now I will make uh, for example the copy of this cross section and make the first cross section a little smaller for example copy this cross section there and now I can uh, use the loft for example, loft command, and I get the uh, central section of, of the fuselage, for example. It can be the central section of the fuselage. So this program uh, is very easy to, uh, to, very easy for work, and I will teach you how to work in this program. We will start uh, on the next lessons, we will start to, um, to learn the interface of this program. We will set up our workplace. Uh, we will uh, learn about the simple tools uh, in this program. Uh, the main tools, uh, we will not learn all these tools because we not uh, need them all. But uh, we will learn uh, all general tools that we will use for uh, for our modeling.
for our future modeling. Uh, and uh, then uh, I will show you on the simple uh, on the simple examples uh, how to uh, how to apply all these tools, how to use them, and how to build uh, the simple uh, surface 3D model. Uh, okay, and also I want to tell you uh, that you can uh, find. Uh, many tutorials, uh, video lessons in uh, YouTube. If you will uh, type in YouTube, uh, find line, search line, uh, Rhino, oh, sorry, Rhino Seros 3D. Uh, you can find also. Uh, you can also find uh, in YouTube different video less lessons. Uh, maybe they will be uh, useful for you, but I will try to give you all uh, all information that you will need uh, to that you uh, that in the end uh, of our lessons you will be able to design to uh, to create on this program uh, your uh, your aircraft any aircraft that you will want to design here and also i want to tell that uh, this program uh, have uh, has uh, very wide abilities uh, for export and import there are very uh, very large list of the formats that you can save your model here. Uh, sorry, here about the about the thirty uh, different formats as I remember. So very you can you can learn them uh, here. You can uh, see them here and. Uh, you can convert your uh, 3D model to, uh, for example, to object format, uh, to STL or step format, and open your uh, surface model in different uh, and other different CAD systems. AutoCAD also uh, included here. 3D Studio also. There you can find the format. So you can uh, export your model and also you can import uh, different models uh, of different formats. So very, very wide uh, list of different formats uh, available in this program. Okay, I think uh, for the first time it will be all that uh, I want to show you. I wanted to show you and tell you. Uh, first of all, you need uh, for the next time you need to uh, you should to download and uh, install the Rhinoceros program into your notebooks and into your computers. Uh, and uh, we will meet next week uh, on Tuesday. Uh, as I remember, it will be at uh, 2 p.m. on Tuesday, and we will start. Uh, we will start to learn the the commands, the tools of the Rhinoceros. We will learn. Uh, uh, I will teach you the interface of program, the basic settings of the world of the workspace, and uh, the basic tools. We will draw something simple on the next lesson. Uh, do you uh, have any questions for me about the subject of our lessons? No question. No questions. Everything clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. I hope it yes. will. I hope it will be interesting and useful for you in future. So I hope you will learn and uh, making your aircraft models with me. <laughs>
Sure. Okay. okay. Uh, if you have no questions, sure. sorry. Uh, what's the difference between this software and uh, Katia SolidWorks? Uh, Katia and SolidWorks. Uh, this is uh, different. Uh, this is uh, very different uh, software. They are much more powerful. Uh, uh, Katia and the SolidWorks. Uh, and but uh, also they are uh, much more expensive <laughs> than rhinoceros and if uh, rhinoceros you can uh, all of you you can uh, all of yourself to buy the license but uh, katia i think is not uh, available by the price to most most of you but uh, Katia, for sure, Katia is uh, much more uh, stronger and powerful soft software with more abilities, uh, with more abilities uh, to make the assemb assemblies, uh, complicate assemblies uh, with different parts. Uh, also, uh, the Katia and SolidWorks uses uh, the uh, parametric uh, design. It is also available uh, in uh, rhinoceros in some in some. Uh, <laughs> it is also presented in rhinoceros, but very very uh, on beginning. Uh, uh, sorry, I I can I can find the correct words. It uh, it is not so powerful than in Katia or in SolidWorks and uh, this uh, software uh, it, 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 if uh, if Katia and SolidWorks they are gener general uh, uh, solid 3D modeling uh, solid 3D modeling uh, systems uh, so about the rhinoceros, we can tell that it is a surface 3D modeling system. Uh, the main uh, object in this uh, in rhinoceros it is the surface. You will uh, build uh, the surfaces of uh, main of of any complicity, any complicated surfaces you can build here in rhinoceros, and maybe uh, you and maybe in rhinoceros, it is uh, more uh, much easy to build uh, to build uh, the difficult shapes of uh, surfaces. In Katia and SolidWorks, it, it is more complicated to build such. Uh, such uh, curves and complicated surfaces. Surfaces, for example, of uh, two-dimensional uh, curviosity. Uh, what I mean, as I showed you before, uh, when I draw the splines and surface between two splines, uh, for example, this. And also, I can join these two splines with uh, some spline, something like this. Uh, okay, let's join with this one, and then uh, I can. I can build something <laughs> impossible to <laughs> something impossible to imagine even. So uh, very very uh, difficult uh, sh shapes, very very complicated shapes you can build in this program and build uh, with a uh, few clicks of the mouse. So. Uh, I want to show you something like 
this program also uh, you, uh, uses uh, the companies uh, which uh, designs uh, the um, ships hulls so in uh, do you understand what i mean ship i mean something like this so uh, i know uh, that uh, this uh, rhinoceros is very useful uh, the companies which build the ships they are using for design of the uh, ship hulls uh, this program rhinoceros because uh, the shapes of uh, of the modern ships is uh, very complicated and uh, to achieve the smooth shapes and the precise geometry they uses they use the rhinoceros uh, okay what i want to show you about the surface something like this uh, the surface with very very complicated shape so it is uh, it is curved not only in one direction but also in the two directions or even three directions and also uh, another one uh, strong uh, thing another one strong ability of this program that is useful for me for example it is the ability to uh, build uh, the uh, to build the unfolding of the uh, un or unrolling of the surfaces so if i need to achieve to get uh, the um, <coughs> if i need to, to get um, the part for this uh, cover for example it is the cover of the fuselage okay i need uh, to achieve uh, the unroll of this cover uh, to use the material in future for example it will be radio control model and i want uh, to make uh, to make the fuselage using the uh, parts of uh, uh, from the uh, for, for the parts from the material uh, to uh, um, <laughs> sorry i'm lost for words okay so what i want to to, to say that uh, for for this uh, for example this uh, here we have um, okay i will start from simple uh, to uh, more complicated for example i have the cone and the uh, rhinoceros allows me uh, very simple to get this Unroll parts for this cone. So I can use, I can, uh, I can print these parts on some uh, material and then cut cut them out and glue it into the into this cone. And the cone, it is a very simple shape. It is uh, the uh, sur it has the surfaces. Uh, with uh, one, uh, one di dimension uh, uh, curiosity with one dimension curiosity so it is very simple shape but also i can uh, unroll here it calls smash the uh, more complicated surfaces sure it will be uh, with uh, some uh, it will be with some um, tolerance with tolerance and here 
I got simple uh, I got simple uh, square shape and it is not very correct but I can I can cut for example um, this surface cut into different some different pieces and then join them and then if I will unfold unroll this this shape okay is not uh, not the Okay, here I got the un, un, unfolded or unrolled this unrolled surface for this part. So I can uh, use this as a sample for uh, manufacturing the cover of this um, of this surface. And uh, I really don't know if it's possible to make in other CAD systems, for example, even in CATIA. Maybe it is uh, possible, but uh, when I learned about the CATIA, it wasn't possible few, some years ago. But Rhinoceros allows to make this very, very uh, long ago. So, and we will learn uh, how to make it. I will show you step by step how to make the unrolls or un uh, unrolls of the surfaces if it's simple uh, surface this command allows you to unroll and uh, this uh, smash command allows you to uh, unroll even complicate uh, surfaces with some tolerance but anyway they will be useful for example for assembly the model if you want to build your model from some materials and uh, how to uh, make the cover parts. You can use this yeah. program. This function very, very useful. Okay. I hope it will help you in future. Okay, do you have any other questions? No question. No questions. So I hope you will, uh, every one of you will download the program for the next lesson, because uh, you will need you will need to repeat all that I will show you. Repeat uh, at your computers uh, and to learn this program with me. So okay, if you have no questions. Uh, that's all that I will uh, that I want to tell you for the first time and uh, we will meet uh, next week on Tuesday on 2 p.m. and we will start to learn uh, the interface and the commands of Rhinoceros. Thank you for your attention. See you thank next you, week. See you, thank you, sir. Okay. Goodbye.